Welcome back. We're going to take a quick look at XA Infinity at number 48. XA Infinity against USDT. We have a target over here at $10. Uh, we're expecting XA Infinity to breeze past $10. The only question is, where are we stopping? Where are we stopping? $9.80, $9.50, $9.00, we, we don't know. We only have a target to $10. So if I were to be in a trade for XA Infinity, my exit uh, price would be ten dollars yeah the shot will be out at ten dollars anyway uh we're, we're already down 92 percent this is horrible 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 um x infinity <laughs> has gone through a very very deep retrace will x infinity survive this deep retrace i hope so uh one thing i like i like about the x infinity re uh you know downtrend bearish trend is that we're falling in a very controlled manner which means that uh this bearish trend has been drawn out, long drawn out uh, bearish trend for the better part of 320 days, almost one freaking year. So yeah, it's just a little bit more before we hit a one year bearish trend for XC Infinity. When we rise, I want to see us rise very fast. When we fall, I want to see us fall very, very slowly. And XC Infinity is falling very, very slowly. So I like that uh, about XC Infinity. And yeah, anyway, I still don't think that uh, XC Infinity is done yet. Uh, we still have a target at $10. I could be wrong. Of course, I could be wrong. Uh, and there could be a um, big reversal coming on for XC Infinity. Uh, you know, this is a point where we actually fell from, right? So this is a potential inverse head and shoulders. Right, uh, in the making. At the same time, this could also be an ending fifth wave diagonal, right? Potentially. So yeah, uh, the the thing is that uh, we have to wait for the bottom to form first, and then we, when we start curving back up, ah, then only that's when we make a move for X Infinity. But it could be months ahead. It may not be now, but uh, it might it might take uh, several months, right? Uh, it might even take a year. <laughs> the thing is that we don't know. We're still in a downwards trend, right? Uh, X Infinity has pulled away from the skinny pink line. So we are largely bearish uh, against USDT. Um, if you look at XC Infinity against BTC, we're still very bearish, uh, but not as bad as uh, USD because we're actually going sideways. While in USD, we're actually falling lower. So for XC, Inf XC Infinity against BTC, there's some sort of a consolidation over here. I don't know if this is the sideways before we go back up. So that's what like I'm saying. Uh, usually when bear trends end, we go sideways for a while before going back up. This is possible. This is possible that uh, this could be the you know, end of the downwards move. But again, as long as we are under the skinny pink line, we have to remain bias bearish uh, for both pairs. Uh, there are some pairs where the BDC uh, pair is already up, right? Some coins, the BC, BDC pair is already up. But for XC Infinity, we're still largely bearish. Uh, still no signs of a bullish reversal. So be very, very careful uh, about going to a trade too soon for XC Infinity. All right, uh, I guess that's it for my AXS technical analysis. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next video. Ta-da!